Hey, welcome back. I'm Tim, and today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what happens when things go wrong. We try to, it's kind of a misleading statement. This isn't like a major disaster. But as, as I've said in other videos, a real important component to making it in this industry is being able to be flexible. So what you're going to see here is me going from plan A to plan B. Uh, a couple things happened that I wasn't thinking were going to be an issue. One of them was that I had missed the tide. I think with the north wind, the tide started to ebb quicker than I expected it to. I was hoping to have a little bit of flood to hold me onto the dock. And you'll see there's a ship that's going to be bearing down on me. And I probably could have made it, but you're going to see me uh, when the pilot finally gets talking to me and asking me what I'm going to do. I decide to err on the side of safety. And uh, what do they say? Discretion is the better part of valor, right? So you'll see me switch from plan A to plan B. All right, let's get it going. <laughs> The HMS Liberty has a barge, I think it's the 2605, they're going to be getting underway. I came by them and they said it's done with cargo around 2130. Oh, uh, do you have a visual of VW Jaguar Buckeye Bound, uh, I'm sorry, Buckeye Fort Reddick? He's doing a South Lake Transit for the Anchors, do you have a visual on him right now, sir? Negative. Okay, but he's Buckeye Fort Reddick, uh, underway, uh, South Lake Transit for the Anchors. Out of there before he uh, gonna make the move before he does there, sir, comes down there. Let me just uh, pull this around. Yes, I think I will. I can go right now. Okay. One, uh, two, branch, one way. Southern Owl is coming down on Holland up on a Carter Red. Uh, one, two, branch, one way. Thank you for the call. Very good. Thank you. All right, Reggie, you got me? Yeah, I got you. I'm just waiting on you. All right, here we go. we got a ship coming down on us, so just make sure I don't get hung up on that uh, cell behind me here. I'll watch it, too. Right, on the Nicholas, you're doing a great job there. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm doing it. And uh, my plan is to do the same thing we normally do here. I'll uh, get up on that last cell, bring her halfway around, and then roll her around. Reggie, I think I'm going to have to lift that stern a little, right? All right, very good. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to back up here. What you can't see is behind me, there's a case on that I want to get on and roll around. But what you probably can see... Very good. What you probably can't see is, or what you hopefully can see is that my assist tug only has inches to of good water before he's up on the rocks over there. So I have to keep him. Give her a good shot there on the Vinick. 
and make sure I give you a little bit more room. All right, we're just going to go until we touch up against that thing. So as I was saying, I can't, I can't roll around the case on now because my bow will get into the shore over there. And what you can't see is behind me there's a whole bunch of scows, construction scows, sand scows. So I have to... Uh, very good. We'll go ahead and lay right on that and start rolling around. Very good. Roger, Captain, can I get the draft of your tuck in your bar? Reggie, if I come around, if I come around right here, are we going to make it on, uh, or are we going to be up against the rocks on the other side? No, you got to come back a little bit more. All right, coming back a little bit more. You let me know when it looks good over there, Reggie. All right, hook it up on the on the necklace. Now, I only have about 20 feet behind me before I run into these barges behind me, as you'll see when we come around. But uh, I'm trying to do this, so I'm watching my speed. And now my speed says it's one knot, but it's really one knot sideways. You can see the red uh, predictor line. All right, Reggie, everything looking good up there on the bow? Yeah, everything good. We ain't, ain't no way we can touch it unless you go forward. All right, good. On the Nicholas, I'm going to be going southbound here, and I'm trying to beat this ship. So uh, you just keep her rolling like this and roll me right around. So I got a ship bearing down on me, and I still got a hell of a maneuver to make here. So I got to do this before he starts freaking out on me. All right, good deal. On the Nicholas, you're hooked up, right? Very good, thank you. Okay, so everything's coming together here. It's all working. The only problem is that I'm running out of time with that ship that's up ahead of me. But uh, time, time, and ship wait for no man. So we just need to keep rolling. Keep watching my red predictor line to see if I'm moving back or sideways or ahead. Everything's looking good. Now, right now, we time this so that we should have a little bit of fair tide pushing us, but sometimes the wind changes that, and I think the wind made the tide change a little early because it feels like we're pushing against the tide.
All right, on the Nicholas, I'm going to start backing up now. You keep doing your thing. Now I'm having him work, even though I want to get spun 90 degrees to the left. I'm still having him work to keep me off these bar sand barges that I'm trying to stay away from over here. It's like I say, the wind and the tide, seeing the wind is pushing me on to them, and the tide, I think, changed a little early because it's been blowing out of the north for so long. Nicholas, why don't you go all stop, let me come by you and then push me around. We're going to be, I'm going to have you, uh, you know, one, once you uh, get by you there, I'm going to have, uh, I want to get swinging down to uh, the south. Cap, I'm trying to swing around here. You know what? I thought I was going to beat you, but if you want, I'll just uh, stall out in front of the dock here and uh, wait for you. I thought I was going to have you beat. All right, Barry. All right, Tim. Swing in the two. Very good. On the Nicholas, stand by there just for a second. Um, I think think the ship wants me to hold up, so I'm going to drive. Come come back a little bit and grab a piece of the bow, and we'll drive up by the dock. All right, change of plans. Reggie, I got a uh, 1955 underway. And on the necklace, I, I, I got it here. Just kind of ride along with me, all right? You don't have to get in there and do anything. She's swinging, all right? Very good. Probably could have had him, but better to err on the safe side. I think I could have got spun around and got in front of him, but uh, always better to be safe than sorry. All right, we're doing two and a half knots ahead. I just want to buy a really big piece of wood with spikes in it. I don't know which way you're going. All right, on the Nicholas, you probably got the idea, but uh, I just want to stall out up here off the dock, get as close to the dock as I can, and then as soon as he gets by, I'll just have you swing me around the other way. Missed it by that much. Back on the boat, Tim. Very good, Reggie. Thank you. Traffic from the Elk River. Elk River traffic. Underway at this time, and I talked to the ship. I'm going to hold up for him, and he's going to go by, and then I'm going to fall in behind him. It's the Jaguar. It's right on top of me right now. I'll spin right around and be right behind him. Roger, Captain. And uh, it's just the Southern Owl. Coming up on the Roselli High Wires for a my car rep. Very good.
is showing up on camera here. The ship is coming down here, and like I said, I really wanted to get in front of him, but uh, it took a little longer than I expected. camera out a little bit. All right, on the Nicholas, if you want to start working on me, go ahead. keep checking my stern to make sure that I don't uh, get into the dock over here remember on a boat or especially something that's 400 feet long like this you know the barge is I think it's 298 or 310 or something like that and then the tugs 95 feet when he pushes over there the bow comes over but that also means that the pivot point is halfway up and uh, or thereabouts and so I gotta make sure that the stern doesn't smack the side of the uh, dock that wouldn't be a good thing all right on the Nicholas hook it up when you get it when you're ready in the corner you and me Now I've just gone all stop just because uh, I don't want to get up to that next buoy right ahead of us. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's an unlit buoy right ahead of us. So I want he's going to be grabbing some tide there as he pushes us around. I've got my rudder hard to starboard. Now I can start a twist and help him out. perspective it looks a lot closer for you and me up here he probably thinks he has miles of room away he doesn't realize that if he's 10 feet close to the bow I can't see him anymore because he's underneath the bow and this is a loaded barge when the barge is light it's up higher so it's even harder to see him. about through with our turn and we'll be southbound for Perth Amboy
All right, on the next list, you can go all stop, back away. Thank you for an excellent job. I got you from uh, 1945 to 2015. How's that work for you? That works well. What are you bound for? Let's see. <laughs> I'm actually bound the opposite direction, but my uh, berth isn't going to be open for a couple hours, so I'm just going to go kill some time down in uh, the Anchorage. Then I go up to uh, Trimley Point. Okay. I'm going to save Trimley Point. All right, thanks, man. Sorry to make you go plan A, plan B, but you know how it works. Hey, I've been up to triple Z already. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're the man. All right, we'll see you on the next one, brother. And with that, we're off.